I recently got a package from Enhanced Athlete and I'm very impressed with there's quite a few things in here. I think it's best if maybe you explain what you sent to me because, uh, or what was sent to me, because uh, honestly, I don't know. I know arachidonic acid and I've been dying to try this. So thank you for sending this to me, man, because I really, really need to help my recovery. I know, I know how well this works. I've, I've done the research. I'm glad that yours is the first one that I'm going to try. So I'm going to try this and give an honest review on it, um, which is not something that I do. You know that I don't review stuff, but you know, you, you, you but in all honesty, you, you guys have been sending me stuff for a while. And I, it, in all fairness, I owe you reviews. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, because I know I mean, it's a lot of the stuff you've given me works really good. Genius, I really liked it. Um, and a couple other products that you had. But let's just talk about this specific package. And also, I wanted to thank you guys for the, for the clothing. I like to wear the clothing that you guys give me. Uh, I, I really like what you believe in. Uh, bodybuilding aside, as a person, when we met, I like I like your philosophy. I like what you believe in. I feel we align on that. And then bodybuilding just is kind of the icing on the cake with us. And science is just even better. So you sent me a uh, blue ox. Um, you want to explain a little bit about that? Okay, blue ox natu natural testosterone booster for natties and enhanced people. So even though I'm on cycles almost all the time, I practically never come off anabolics of some sort whether it's SARMs or or steroids uh, I still take a natural testosterone booster almost like a male's multivitamin in a way giving me a lot of the nutrients that my body needs not only to build testosterone but also to build uh, muscle so it's it's basically a combination of let's say the three top seller uh, pro, uh, sorry three best-selling testosterone boosters on the market all in one which, which means you, that what you see on TV, what's being advertised on TV. Yeah, it's like that, but like all three of the top ones all okay. combined into one. Uh, so that means you have to take more capsules. So I think it says the serving size is four capsules on the bottle, but you would actually have noticeably more effectiveness if you took something like even six capsules. And before bed is generally the best time to take it because that's generally when your body produces the most amount of testosterone. Before bed, okay. Uh, empty stomach, right? Uh, either way, it's fine. So in, in, in my picture, it looks like you're moving around a lot. It kind of looks like uh, you're dancing a little bit. There we go. Yep. <laughs> I, uh, I was setting up the tripod so I didn't have to hold the phone. See, now okay, I can. Cool. Now, now I can move. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so, so do you think this would work uh, similar to HCG uh, for people that are on a, 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 you know, a low dose of testosterone to keep, them, keep their system from shutting down? Or yeah, it, this, the same idea, but yeah. not quite as powerful as HCG. Well, it depends on the dosage of HCG. Maybe it would be equal to taking 250 IU of HCG per week, but it wouldn't be equal to taking 5,000 IU of HCG sure. per week. So, but but similar not, idea. But even if someone's taking HCG, they should still be taking a natural testosterone booster, whether on or off cycle. Right. And, I, and, and this has been something that you've been talking about for a while. In fact, you were one of the first people that I had spoke to who was using ACG while on a cycle and getting their blood tested to see what the results were. So um, we, we, could, we could do a whole segment on that. But slim, uh, slim insulin mimicking. So I have not taken any of these. I'm going, I'm going to try them. When do, you, when do you recommend this? Is this best taken with meals? Yeah, it, with high carbohydrate meals would be its most effectiveness. Or if you want to wake up in that fasted state where your blood sugar is really low and you've been burning fat the last three hours of sleep and you're going to do fasted cardio in the morning, then mm. taking it before bed is an excellent time as well. Interesting. Uh, but you, you know, what's unique about you is your body processes carbs pretty well. You've got a super fast metabolism. So you are probably already extremely insulin sensitive. Either. But I'd still want you to experiment with it because, you know, most you're unique. Not a lot of people have a metabolism, your fast, uh, your speed at your age. Um, but I think still it may actually help you have more carbohydrates and then hold more carbohydrates in the muscle. But it's going to be a good experiment with you. Excellent. I can't wait to try it because, you know, I mean, I've experimented with insulin. So I, I, I want to try these two and, and glucophage. Um, arachidonic acid we have here. Uh, Py, pyto, pytodrol? Phytodrol. Phytodrol. Yeah. Phytodrol. 
that's a natural anabolic plant sterol, laxogenin, phytosomal encapsulated, so it absorbs very well. And it's not going to be near as powerful as SARMs. It's not going to be near as powerful as steroids, but I still take it. I still take it as just a little bit like a supplement I mean, on uh, anabolic on top of the other anabolic. I, this has been around for this has been around for years. Um, and and correct me if I'm wrong, but w would you still be considered natty if you took this? Yes, my <laughs> opinion. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be similar to like some of these other products like? Uh, uh, Semilax in the back of the day, um, they, 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 to increase it, it was from uh, ginseng or from red root bark mm -hmm. or any of these different things that were kind of to increase natural testosterone. Plus, Same idea, and and you know when you asked whether whether you'd be considered natty, there's it's hard to say what the standard for that is because right. none of us are really natural. Even you eat any food in America, you're no longer natural. That you're getting true. all kinds of chemicals. Uh, but one one standard we could use for that is the World Anti-Doping Association uh, list of banned substances for sports. So right. we should we should do some content on that in the future on what compounds that are on the market would would violate that and which ones would not. And then by that we could define what natty is and is not. Epi muscle. Yeah, epicatechin. So that's a ingredient in coffee. Or sorry. Um, hot chocolate. Sorry, I'm on insulin right now. My blood sugar's low. I'm a little disoriented. Do you, do you need to get it? Do you need to get some fruit or something? Nope, nope. I'm I'm Going riding hard. that. I'm riding that edge. You're riding it out. Going hard. Yeah, I'm riding it out. And then I'll afterwards I'll eat and it's gonna be spectacular. It's gonna feel so good. Oh it does. It's uh, just it's so, an orgasm almost. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm going for. So epicatechin is in chocolate and it's uh, supposed to be a myostatin inhibitor. And the science says that it's effective on paper, um, but I haven't seen any spectacular results from it yet from any case studies of, of people that I've worked with. So it's something that I'm experimenting with right now. Mm -hmm. So I wanted you to have it because uh, I'm starting to test myostatin levels in our blood of myself and our athletes. And so I'm gonna be talking a lot about it and I'm gonna be updating you on that. So I want you to be kind of caught up on some of the uh, supplements that we're experimenting. That's one of the supplements we're experimenting with to lower myostat. Awesome. And I, and I, and I, there's one left and then I, and I'm sure we're going to talk about how we could take these in conjunction, but, uh, um, uh, met, met or, or, or X, is that correct? Yeah, that's phosphatidic acid. Another one that on paper is an effective, um, anabolic stimulator, kind of similar to what you'd say a plant sterile. Uh, it's found in less than a natural ingredient, definitely still be considered natty by taking it. Okay. Um, its effectiveness, again, unknown in, in humans in my experience because I haven't run enough studies on it. So what I'm doing with those natural supplements that we just went over right now is I'm starting to get a few people. Uh, we actually did the blood, we just did the blood work and they're going to start these cycles and we're going to take really high doses of these things and we're going to see, compare the results that they're getting to previous experiments I've done with SARMs, so we can kind of gauge it, or even steroids. So trying to see if we even reach near it, by combining those three with the slint and arachidonic acid. Now, to see if we can get even acid. close to SARMs and steroids. So uh, it, it, we're looking at we're looking at. Uh, I mean, I mean, it looks like it looks like the combo should be all taken at once. Is this correct? We yep, can, that is the natty stack right there. That's the natty stack. Okay, cool. And uh, I, uh, at times, am the natty daddy. At times. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can bridge. You can bridge between cycles with that. Um, you can call yourself natty if you, if you can compete in a natural bodybuilding show well, these, on it. You know, Tony, <laughs> these days, you can self-identify as anything, right? Yeah, there you go. Your, gen your gender, your one of your 83 genders is natty. My, uh, <laughs> mine's, mine's superhuman though, but you can join me in my gender if you want. Awesome, brother. <laughs>